Hockey is back, and thank you, Austin Matthews and the other superstars, and Gregor, because the Leafs win in overtime 6-5 against the Montreal Canadiens. A game I think they deserve to win, um, but they tried their hardest not to win it. Uh, they're down one nothing early with a turnover by TJ Brody, falling on his ass at uh, the offensive blue line. Montreal goes the other way and scores. I think it was Evans who scored. It was a nice little quick move from backhand to forehand, up over the glove, one nothing. The uh, that ends up two nothing, uh, and almost three nothing. But Cole Caulfield, who scores, is actually offside, so they call back. So thank you, Toronto War Room, or I don't even know who who runs that. Whatever, good job because he caught it, uh, because that gave Toronto the chance to get back into the game. And it's 2-1, it's 2-2, it's 3-2. And Toronto's like doubled them up in points and everything. We go into the third period. Caulfield scores that little, that shot that hit off Brody's stick. 3-3. Then next thing you know, 4-3, 5-3. And you're just sitting back and there's a, like four minutes left. And I'm just like, great. Of course, you know, come back after down by two, take a lead. And now you're down by two again. Then Austin Matthews with the goalie pulled. Uh, tough angle, but a great shot. Uh, Allen was not prepared for it. Scores. And then he scores again to make it the hat trick. 5-5. Five, five. And then overtime was killer. Uh, Austin Matthews with one chance. Austin Matthews splitting the D and just putting the puck forward. Almost scores again. Nice almost scoring. Holy cow. And then, like, I thought Doc hooked Nyes. And then Nyes has to take a penalty on Doc. And then... Montreal's power play was trash. We go into a shootout, and Nylander gets stopped, and Suzuki messes up, and then Austin Matthews gets stopped. He just shot it right at his blocker. And then who was next? Caulfield. He hits the post, and then Mitch Marner, who I was like, oh, he's going to go back and forehand, and he did, but he did it like triple deke style and shot, and he scored, and it was great. And then, of course... Doc misses, and that's how Toronto wins. Um, now, looking at the wider picture, Austin Matthews scored from his, his spot on the right side. When the puck hits John Tavares, he scores. That's his first goal. His um, second goal was obviously the, the bad angle. Then the third goal, he holds the puck, wraps it around. Allen scores, and that made it 5-5. Uh, five, five. But who else scored for Toronto? One, when they were down 2 nothing. Gregor using his speed. I liked him in San Jose. He's only 25 years old. Give him a chance. I can see him moving up in the lineup when needed. Uh, they had him out there at the end of the game when they wanted to hold that tie, and he played great. It was a good shot. He went outside, just push it to the left a little bit more. Caught Allen cheating. Scores posting in. That was awesome. Still down 2-1. They get their power play. Uh, no, this wasn't the power play. I'm jumping ahead of myself. Um, this is the one where Mitch Marner, I think, has it, or William Nylander has it on the left side, throws it out front. Uh, Tavares there kind of hits off and goes to Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews, Jesus, damn, got here tired. What a game. It was just, ugh. he scores, and he, uh, he made it 2-2, and then they had a power play, and William Nylander just absolutely demolished the puck. What a one-timer from Klingberg, who got, I think, like three points tonight. He was just feeding guys. Okay. When I'm at the point, if I'm shooting, I'm shooting high. If I'm not, I'm just going to pass for one-timers. That's what he did. Um, and that made it 3-2. And then, obviously, turnovers again. Uh, what was it? It was the Caulfield one where they got the power play after Bertuzzi. Like, Toronto was all over him. And Bertuzzi, who had, like, what felt like 13 golden opportunities. Like, for him, on that first line, he's going to get... 30 goals if he can figure out how to put the puck not into the middle of a goalie's chest. Um, he just has to find space, right? Dig, dig, dig. Okay, you guys got the puck. Marner has it now. Find the space. He'll find me. And the first period, it took him a little while. And second and third, he was getting that space, getting that opportunity. He got a top seven player in Austin Matthews, let's be honest. Top, what, three? Um, playing like it anyway, this game. Uh, all over the place. Mitch Marner, he's creative with the puck. Bertuzzi just needs to find his own space. He got lots of opportunities. What happened, though, before Caulfield scored is he sticks Allen, and then everyone jumps in. Giordano comes flying like Superman. 
Uh, the ref is the one who actually <laughs> like takes for and kind of tackles him anyway. He ends up with the extra penalty. Caulfield scores right away. It's a deflection off of Brody. That sucks. Um, that made it 3-3. Three, three. And then the Max Domi turnover. He did not get a lot of ice time tonight because obviously he's special teams. He's on the second power play unit. He's not going to play penalty kill. And then that turnover, I don't think I saw him back on the ice. No, I think he did. No, he's back on after when they pulled the goalie for four minutes. And then they need to pull the goalie again and push for it. But uh, he just go off the boards. It doesn't work. Turnover, new hook tips it in. Goal. So that made it 4-3. And then 5-3. Lilligren does his classic fan while trying to go up the right boards because I think he just needs needs to go like heel to toe with his with his tape. I'm gonna say that and I'm gonna say it fixes it. But it was Yelenin. I think that's how you say it. I had him in my fantasy uh, dynasty fantasy team once upon a time. Anyway, he scores. It was like uh he was pretty like far out when he did his backhand deke. Samsonov was aggressive, scores to make it five three and then obviously Matthews Matthews uh, with three and a half minutes left. Or two goals in three and a half minutes it was quick in that, I feel. Anyway, he scores and I made it 5 5. Overall, uh, first period, I thought Gregor showed up. Uh, Matthews looked all right. Marner looked all right. Nylander looked great. I was like, sign him now. I wish he plays like this all the time. Uh, second period, Leafs looked phenomenal. Every line was going. Um, third period, again, I thought they looked dominant. Uh, Montreal had some. some some good chances at times, but it was the turnovers by the Leafs that uh, cost them. Obviously, new team. Defensively, I'm a little bit worried. Offensively for Klingberg, really happy. Defensively, the stick position, all that, not so. Um, though you got guys like Giordano, Lilligren, McCabe, Riley. They're, they're there to try to block shots, and they did well there. Um, what else? Brody, well, he had his like a classic turnover, um, but then he made some good defensive plays. Uh, I thought the team had, and each player had good moments, good to great moments, and then some not good moments to bad moments, turnovers, obviously. Um, but it was fun. It's the first game, and they won. And Austin Matthews got a hat trick. Hey, Connor Bedard, that's how you do it. In your first game, Bedard did score tonight. I don't even know if he, he scored more than that. I just saw the wraparound goal. But uh, it was quite fun for the Leafs. I don't know what the game plan is going to be going forward. I think you just throw these guys out again. Reeves hit a guy from behind. Well, he turned into it, and then he hit the numbers, and then he fought. I, I, he lost because he got tackled into the net. But I don't know. Um, Montreal did have like a second, third, and eighth look over their shoulder. Okay, seeing him there because he's like, I'm going to hit you. And then I think that rallied some guys like Austin Matthews was throwing hits. Even much Marner. Uh, Willie was bumping a little bit. Tavares, he, he's, he's a hard worker. Nice as well. Um, what else? It's just going off the top of my head here. Yarn Croak looks so much better than the game I saw in Detroit, that last preseason game. He is the most inefficient skater, I'll tell you that. But hey, he made it work. Um, but what a weird... Weird ass game, but I'm I'm happy because the Leafs win game one. Uh, yeah, comment down below your thoughts on the game. I think that's it. That's off the top of my head. I need to go to bed. I need to get more than three hours of sleep. My son is probably gonna wake up in an hour because that's just the way he is now, and he'll probably be partying. I'll tell him the Leafs have won. He won't understand it, but he'll still be partying from like one a.m. till five a.m. just because. Yeah, we're gonna be doing the the floor is lava or. You know, maybe some Just Dance. I don't know. I don't know. I wish he kind of just woke up now. No, I don't. But if he did, I'm already wide awake because the Leafs won and it was a roller coaster ride. Down two, up one, down two, tied. Shootout's kind of boring. I wish there was more three on three, but the Leafs won in the shootout anyway. Uh, Samsonov did let in five goals. Technically six. No, not technically. Unofficially six, but he made some big saves at some big moments. Uh, Leafs gave Montreal plenty of opportunities, even though they barely had any shots. Um, Jake Allen, on the other hand, faced a ton of shots, and I thought he played all right. Anyway, what's your thoughts on the game? What's your thoughts on the number one power play unit with Klingberg there instead of Riley? Um, what did you guys think of Austin Matthews on the penalty kill for a little bit? I think he was out there, maybe. Um, man, hockey's back. Hockey's back. AM, AM 34 with the hat trick. 
Anyway, take care, everyone. Enjoy at Leafs Nation. See you later. Bye.